Now, you know I'm a straight shooter. When I love you, I say it. When there's something going on, I say that too. And then I run back to Jersey, slam the door closed. <laughs> Um, it's almost likening me to being the Molotov cocktail of daytime TV. <laughs> Throw it and run! <laughs> Have you heard this thing with Kenya Moore? Yeah. From Atlanta? This is the most pathetic story ever. This is the kind of story, Kenya, that needs to get you kicked off Housewives. <laughs> and this is the kind of story that absolutely, like, nail in your credibility coffin. Now, Kenya, you know I love you, but I'm also a straight shooter. Pow, pow! <laughs> and, and today is no different. All right, let me explain what happened. Okay. Kenya, Kenya went on Patty Stanger's Millionaire Matchmaker, of which I don't watch Housewives anymore, so I have no idea what's going on, like, with the different franchises and stuff, but I do love my Millionaire Matchmaker. So, now, Kenya went on Millionaire Matchmaker. You go on there, Patty Sanger sets you up with a millionaire. If it's a match, maybe you get married one day. The man that she ended up dating uh, happens to be him. Now, if you'll remember, about two months ago, Kenya was here. And I asked her, is she seeing anybody? And she said yes. And she was very coy with the camera, but what she whispered to me when I said, we'll be right back. And you know how I whisper to my friends, or, you know, on the couch and stuff? So we whispered, and I said, okay, you know, what's the skinny on him? She said, I said, is he black? She said, yes. I said, um, um, what does he do? And she told me, you know, he's in real estate and that he's a Princeton graduate. I was like, jackpot! <laughs> what? No disrespect, Kenya, but in my mind, I said, she'll do something to mess this up. She always does. <laughs> Which is why she's gorgeous and smart and 44, and even though she wants to be married with children, she's still single. You see what I'm saying? If you want to be married with children and you've got all the tools to, to catch a man, like, beautiful and smart, then you've got to have something going on up here that, that you are still desperate, desperately single. Okay, this is how desperate she, she is. Woman, do you need a cough drop? Here, I have an extra one. No, no, I do. I have an extra haul. Here, Dougie. Just give her, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you're coughing through hot topics. People around you are getting upset. Well, it turns out, a week after that episode of Millionaire Matchmaker aired showing these two, a week later, this guy posted on his social media pictures of his honeymoon. <laughs> Apparently, he was engaged all along. <laughs> and I guess his fiance said that it was okay for him to exploit himself and go on Millionaire Matchmaker, as long as you don't fall in love, honey, is probably how it was. You know, because this will be good for his business or whatever. You know how everybody wants to be on TV these days. But this, but this story just goes to show, looks aren't everything, dear. And neither are your smarts. You've got a tick that you, you turn men off. Like, you are sort of, you are cuckoo. There, there's, there's something, there's something. No, no, I'm just saying. There's something wrong. So uh, we're going to move on. This guy posted it on Instagram. She ended up posting a picture um, intimating that she's engaged oh, she, on, the, on the ring finger with, with a big, giant cluster of diamonds. So she led us all down the trail with her breadcrumbs of love. He went on and married somebody else. Kenya's left with egg on her face and, and less credibility than you had last week this time. Um, and, and to me, this is worthy of her not being a housewife. She's not even a girlfriend. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Sorry. Kylie Minogue, you know, she's a music star. Locomotion. <laughs> Remember? And I should be so lucky, so lucky in love. She's 47 years old and she's found the love of her life and she's talking about it. And he's 20 years younger than her. He's 27 and she's 47. And Kylie, I've got news for you. Or maybe you wanna turn your TV down for a moment because I'm about to give it to you straight, no chaser. <laughs> He will tire of you in 30 seconds. Oh we checked, He's, Joshua has no kids. That is the dividing factor sometimes in whether relationships last. Her eggs have been scrambled, at 47, really? <laughs> Look, take that boy toy thing as a compliment. Protect your heart because he'll be gone before January 1st. <laughs> you know, 
I got love for the game. Always have. But I gotta say it like I feel it. Remember he had that dating show on VH1, She's Got Game? Okay. Well, in August, um, there's a girl, a very pretty girl, who sued him for sexual assault. Now, she's saying that, um, that uh, they went out to some bar or restaurant or something in Illinois or some club, and he got pissy drunk and then tried to put his hands up her dress. Well, what I say is no matter how pretty a woman is and no matter how short her dress is, Fellas, what you have to understand, that doesn't mean that we want it. That means that we like to be pretty and short or something, you know? And all you guys have to be careful, careful particularly if you're a celebrity and, and have a dating show, because you know all those girls are there for a come up. And let's call it like we said, pa pow. <laughs> Apparently, this girl wanted to, or tried to sue him. He ignored the lawsuit papers. I guess they came in the mail or something like that. And now he might have to pay her $10 million. Whoa. Well, Game says, I was out of the country. By the way, the girl continued with the dating show even after her allegations. Whoa. So, I, I, I smell a rat. <laughs> you know, if you didn't like it, why don't you leave the show and file for a suit right then? Game says, because I'm overseas, a judge has given this chicken a chance to maybe be able to afford a lifetime supply of lace front hair glue if my lawyers don't respond to the suit. No, he goes on, he goes on, there's more, there's more, he goes on. He says, soon as I'm home, me and my lawyers will eat this case like a box of Minion Twinkies on sale at Walmart. And again, if the girl quit the show right after that and filed charges, she'd be more believable. Okay, so the trailer for the Nina Simone biopic, it, or biopic, depending how, how you want to pronounce it, um, has just been released, and everybody's pissed, and I'm pissed too. Ooh. Well, because Zoe Saldano is in blackface, you all. <laughs> you know, and also a nose prosthetic. Now, she's not black, she's Puerto Rican and Dominican, but she does, like in articles, I've seen her refer to herself as black, which means she understands, you know, she's a, brown, a woman of color. But this was such bad casting, and I don't know Zoe, I'm sure she's perfectly lovely, but you know, here at the show, we, pow, pow, we, we gotta sh shoot straight. And this is, this is insulting, because this is just as bad to me as a white person in blackface for a movie. Um, you mean to tell me that there are not enough, you know, uh, darker skin black actresses with maybe a fuller nose out there who could have authentically played this? We had to go with a woman who we had to... It's not, it's just not fair. It's like, it's not fair. It's, it's not right either. And Nina Simone was an icon for a lot of things, but one of those things included how proud she was of the way she looked. You know, fuller hips, darker skin, and she became, this is the real Nina, and this is Zoe as Nina. I just feel like, um, yeah, Lupita would be perhaps a better Nina Simone. Haven't seen her around in a while. Has she been acting? Is she? Oh, she's on Broadway now. Oh, she's on Broadway now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I see her on all the ads and stuff. You know, she's got a lot of beauty ads. Oh, she's in Star Wars? Yeah. Oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> Again, Zoe, this is not against you, although you could have turned down the role. <laughs> it's more about your name even being in the mix in central casting in Hollywood for this particular role. <laughs> the entire city of Seattle is furious with Sierra because the Seahawks have a losing record ever since their quarterback, <laughs> Russell Wilson, has been dating her. Aww. Now, apparently, um, the, the team, the people of the town, whatnot, are saying that Sierra is a bad luck charm, and they're calling for Russell to dump her. Aww. Can you imagine being in love with somebody and having the masses saying dump? <laughs> like, who are you to tell me who to love? <laughs> no, I'm not going to dump him. But here's what I would suggest Sierra does. Play like a ghost and disappear. <laughs> Sierra, don't go to the games. You know, don't go to popular restaurants where the paparazzi is. Like, still be with Russell if that's what you all are doing. It, it, still be with him, but just leave him alone for football season because the fans are going crazy. And you know what? Your man has made, you know, his, his name from 
football, and this might be a reason. He might be, feel pressure to dump you. And I know that you're, you're the model for Roberto Cavalli, but that was only the fall campaign. <laughs> And now we're moving into winter, which means that campaign is done. And I don't know what you made from that campaign, but nobody's buying the music. And this is her ticket. This is like her last train to Clarksville. <laughs> Sorry, Sierra. I just call it the way I see it. Pow, pow. <laughs> <laughs> Things are really ugly between future and Sierra. By the way, I think I'm team future, even though I love Sierra. Well, I'm gonna tell you why. You know I'm 2016, but I'm so, pow, pow! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a straight shooter. All right, so future attacked Sierra over Twitter because of custody of future junior. And here's what he says. The bitch got control problems. I gotta, uh, wait, I gotta go uh, through lawyers to see baby future for $15,000 a month. I just want a baby future, that's all. I've been silent for a year and a half. I ran out of patience. Well, well, you know what, future? Number one. <laughs> I know you're mad because Russell Wilson is now um, in Sierra's life. See, to me, this is the picture that breaks the internet. Like, Sierra, I love you, but why would you have baby future wearing Russell's jersey? Like, you are so wrong on every level. And future, you know, you got four kids with four baby's moms. Three of them are boys. And also, Sierra, by putting these pictures out with you and Russell, you know, frolicking and having a good time with young future, that only makes everyone upset. So to me, here's what future should do. Stop using the B word when you refer to any of your baby's moms. But Sierra, you're looking a little suspect in terms of your momship, you know, by, by holding this boy back from seeing his dad. Sierra? Mm-mm, cause now, uh-oh. -uh. Now it's become very precarious. Sierra is claiming that Future is attacking her parenting skills on social media and also her relationship with Russell Wilson, her football playing um, boyfriend, and she says that her career is being hurt as well as her brand. Oh. So Sierra is suing Future for $15 million. Oh. She's gonna sue him for $15 million, oh. keeping money from her mouth that she could have alleged to her, could have been made if he wasn't so bashing towards her. Oh. But here's my thing, Cece, and you know I love you, but I gotta, Pow pow. <laughs> I'm a straight shooter. I always have been. Sierra, future is not the reason that your music hasn't sold. <laughs> you are his fourth baby's mother with four children. <laughs> when you met him and he only had three baby's mothers and three children, that should have been a drive by, <laughs> not a, a stay with. What a messy show. <laughs> <laughs> Deion Sanders have many seats. Oh. Deion, I like you. I like Tracy Edmonds, your girlfriend, but I gotta call it the way I see it because I'm a straight shooter. Pa pow! <laughs> Dion is suing his ex wife, Pilar, for defamation after she claimed that he was abusive to uh, her during their 12 year marriage. The judge there in Texas ruled in favor of Dion, and I don't know what kind of abuse, whether she was cursing him out or beating him up. All I know is there was some sort of, and anyway, so the judge ruled in favor for Dion, and now Pilar has to pay Dion $2.2 million that I'm sure she doesn't have. Like, 
Dion, real, what kind of man are you? I don't know what, what's going on with her, but he got custody of all the kids. Now you know there's a tick in a woman when the court allows a smelly man. <laughs> no disrespect, men, but I'm just saying, moms are the primary. To have custody? So maybe uh, this woman, uh, Pilar, has a tick. But Dion, you don't need $2.2 million. You are already wealthy, okay? You've taken this woman's kids and perhaps she did something to deserve that, we don't know. But to be suing her is very feminine of you, yeah. Dion. Don't shame this woman anymore. It's the holiday season. Have you no heart, man? Yeah. Little Kim has everyone talking. It's our... <laughs> it's our hot shot of the day, hit it. Now, personally speaking, I think she looks gore. No, not who is that, I just told you who it was. Don't be shady. It might not look like her, but that is the queen bee. However, <laughs> Like you, I don't recognize her. Um, she's done a lot. Can we show before and after and put them both in the same? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. There's a lot going on, but that's royalty's mother, and I happen to adore little Kim. But you know, I'm a straight shooter, so I'm gonna say, it, look, first of all, same blue contacts, so at least that's consistent. <laughs> Brand new nose. Um, the lip pooch looks good, the cheeks, she got a chin shave, it looks like a chin shave, and of course, the obvious bleaching. Yes. But little Kim, you look terrific, no matter what. Don't take my shade for shade, cause you know, I've been doing this for 30 years, we've known each other. But I'm gonna keep talking as long as you keep doing stuff. <laughs> it's weird doing hot topics and being a hot topic. In a weird kind of way, Norman, I love the attention. <laughs> right. But it wasn't a plant. It's some sort of weird story going around the internet regarding my husband. Now look, I'm a straight shooter, pow pow. All you gotta do is Google him and you see the story. You can believe what you want, but... And my eyeballs rolled around for all of us. So please stop rolling your eyeballs. I've already done it. So I'm like, all right, sell it, sister. So Norman tells me <laughs> that. <laughs> sister. <laughs> <laughs> Let me have my not time, Norman. Okay. I'm under duress. <laughs> right, right. I am a hot topic. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the ratings of it all. 